Following advice from HM government to stay home during the coronavirus outbreak, the delivery of our community learning courses has been temporarily affected. Until we return, our tutors are here to offer some free lessons to keep you and your minds active. Hi, my name's Kim. I'm the dressmaking tutor at Newbury College, and I'd like to show you a few things to hopefully get you sewing over this uh, period of lockdown. Um, I have a lot of learners, be complete beginners, but coming to my classes that haven't have been too frightened to take their machine out of the boxes. Um, please please don't do that please take them out of the boxes read the manual look online um, if you haven't got a manual to download one and all you need to read is the safety issues obviously uh, how to wind a bobbin how to thread your sewing machine and just get started all the other stuff is for info for future reference and for more advanced um, yeah just 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 get it and do it let me show you how to thread mine now I'm going to show you how to wind the bobbin, so it goes through here, I've got little instructions on here, little arrows, and through there and clicks in, and round back there, and then under here. And it's got a diagram here telling me that the, the thread goes over the top, your manual will tell you to thread from the inside and then out through the hole, but I find that fiddly so I just hold on to there. It's only to anchor it on to stop it slipping. So now my thread's going over the top, put it on here and then mine's got a little, and it has to click. There we go. To engage it, push it across. And now I have to, at the moment, my hand wheel is working all the machine here, but I have to disengage that. And I do that on my machine by turning the inside knob and yours might be a, a button on the middle that you push in or pull out or it might automatically do it so you can only find out by, by trying reading your manual and trying so now this will be ready to wind and it should wind evenly and it should stop when it's full it's stopped so now I need to Move it across again, pull it up, cut it. Always remember to reconnect this so that this is working again. I'm going to take that off now out of the way. My sewing machine is a front loading bobbin. Some machines are top loading bobbin. So if your machine's a top loading bobbin, then you have a little plastic window here and you just click this, flick the switch and it will ping out and you'll have your bobbin like a P, a letter P with a thread on the left and you would slot it in and then it will go through the hinge up and then click across. It will tell you in, in your manual and then you'll have some little arrows on it. But mine is a front loading so mine has to go the opposite way. So thread going over the top clockwise, I hold it between my fingers, hold on to the thread and then I hold the bobbin between my fingers like that. Then I get the bobbin case, with the tension at the top that goes in there and then it clicks in and round you hear the little click and now I hold the back here to fit it in I keep it upright in case it falls out and then it just fits in wiggle it that's in and that's the bobbin ready I'm going to remove this and I'll show you how to thread the sewing machine so your manual will tell you again, all machines are thread in the same way um, and there will be diagrams, numbers, arrows. So on the spool here, it's always important to put the, the stopper on there because otherwise this will be hanging around and you won't get the right tension. So you put that on there and now I'm going to follow my instructions. So. The first one is under here. I hold my thread like you would hold a dental floss. It's much more control rather than like this. So if you if you hold it between your two fingers like that, you've got much more control. So I'm clipping it in there, and then mine goes across here. Always make sure that it clicks into the to, um, tensions, otherwise you won't your machine won't sew correctly. Then mine goes down here, round and up. 
and through my what we call the lever if you can't see that it just means that your needle's too your needle's low so all you do is turn your hand wheel towards you until it comes up and then again holding my thread between the two click it round and it goes down this side again and then through the little hinge bit there through here and then cutting it holding it close to the edge I put the foot down it gives me more space thread it through rest it with my finger and then get a hold of the thread and then I will ease it in like that otherwise it tangles round and now I've got hold of the thread I'm going to use the hand wheel turn the hand wheel towards me and it's going to pick up the under thread and get the loop hold of the loop both of them together put the foot up through those and then the back and now we should be ready to start sewing now my machine is all thread your machine should be set on a on a general tension anyway but um between four and five is the best and just a run-in stitch and the reverse button so you have to manually hold that down for the machine to go backwards but i always machine backwards at the beginning and the end of a seam okay now we're ready ready to go okay so have a go with that and then practice some sewing if it's not stitching very well then just take it all out of your sewing machine and rethread it okay thank you search newbury college to apply online for september